1994, I was awarded a scholarship for an academic year of study in Budapest, Hungary. I didn't speak Hungarian, wasn't Hungarian, nor was my major remotely related. But somehow I convinced a panel of assorted community members that I was worth the investment. In the early 1990s, many Westerners who made their way to Budapest were speculators, born-again Christians, repatriating 56ers, or their 20-something kids. In addition, in the early 1990s, Hungary had eliminated Russian as a compulsory language study in school. So while the former Russian teachers went through English language training, Peace Corps volunteers, along with other EFL cowboys, filled the need for English teachers. I was none of these. Life in Budapest in the early 1990s was bleak to the average Hungarian. While we Westerners touted it as the fall of communism, many Hungarians referred to it as the change in the system. High unemployment, along with the loss of highly subsidized social and cultural benefits, was devastating for many people. One Hungarian summed up this transition as, those who didn't know and didn't have the money became the losers of the change. Life in Budapest was tough for me too. I lived alone in a rented apartment that was owned by a Hungarian journalist who had left her hundreds of books in the apartment along with a broken TV. I had no formal access to a university. A five minute international phone call cost me nearly half of my weekly budget and accessible internet connectivity was not yet available. So I had lots of time on my hands and not a whole heck of a lot of money. At least the wine was cheap. Eventually, I figured out how to get a lending card from the British Council Library and its American counterpart. I also located the few English language bookstores in town. And it was in one of these that I discovered Granta. I immediately loved the structure of the magazine from my first read. Each issue is loosely centered around a theme like New World, The Body, Death, or Losers. The content is produced through a variety of mediums, poetry, photography, short fiction, and personal essay. Granta, with its literary mana, became a consolation for those hard months in Budapest. These books were my company. I would tuck away quotes, words, and stanzas from poems for cheer, and more often than not, commiseration. While I gradually created a small group of friends, I spent much of my time in silence, alone. In these books, I could find a space from the grinding loneliness they bonded me to a world and language community that I missed more than I ever thought I could. Today, nearly a quarter century later, my memories of Hungary are sapia hued. I don't even really recognize myself from the few photos I've kept, but I still have my subscription to Granta. At one time, I loved reading so much that I thought about being a librarian. Now I find most reading has become something I've delegated to a rarely attempted to-do list. But thankfully, I still find happiness in the newest Granta, freshly shucked from its mailing wrapper or a thumb-through of the first issues I chanced upon so many years ago in Budapest. Reading Granta is something I still find worth in doing.